All right, so this is a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. It is here for a custom intake. Let me show you the one that he has right now and I'll talk about the one we're gonna build. So the intake he has right now is an engine. It's a short ram and you see it's an open element. It has this little uh, heat shield here, but problem is the whole engine bay gets heat soaked. So it doesn't matter realistically what you do with this heat shield. This whole engine bay gets hot. Well, the idea of a cold air intake, there's more power from cold air. Keeping the air cooler longer is where you make power. But in Florida, we get a lot of rain. We get maybe four or five inches in an hour. That will cause some standing water. We don't want to ingest water, so we don't want this filter being too low to the ground here. So what our proposal is, we're going to remake this. That way he can take this off and sell this as a, a used kit. We're going to remake this pipe bring our filter a little bit further away and then build kind of like a heat shield around here and seal this area and force it to draw air from this hole down here. All right, so now we have our intake removed. As you see, it's just a short piece, two and a half inch, it expands out to 275 and then a small element filter. Again, uh, it's perfectly good filter and intake. It will uh, feel a little quicker. You'll hear get a little bit more intake sound from it. But the problem is once everything gets heat soaked, typically they don't make any more power than what a stock intake system will be. So we're gonna try and keep the air cooler and of course make it look a little cleaner and custom at the same time. So typically most of our work is Hondas because that is what we're known for. That's what we know. That's what we can be very competitive with because we know the car is inside and out. But when it comes to customizing a custom exhaust, custom intake, custom header, custom intercooler piping, we can build pretty much anything. Now, what I like about this guy, he's a car guy. Some people are gonna say, you should have bought a Civic Si, you should have bought a Porsche, you should, you, you should buy the car you like or the car that is in your possession and enjoy it. That's what a car guy is about. He is basically customizing this to his own taste. Some of these parts are not as plentiful for a Hyundai as they are for a Honda, but the fact he's Building this the way he wants it is a passion. It's something that makes you excited. If this is the car you own and it makes you excited by modifying it, tweaking it, tastefully changing it, that's what it's all about. I love that. That's what I love about the car guy community. Now this is a carbon heat shield that we built for a 95 Civic. It's actually one of my cars that we built for one of the Nopi shows. But as you see, super simple carbon fiber. We did the rivets on here just so it gives it a little bit more of a custom look. Super lightweight. It helps deflect the heat. Obviously this sits in the corner of the engine bay. The intake arm goes through here so the filter is here. Right where my hand sits. And all it does is force the air to be drawn from a cool sauce as opposed to the uh, surrounding heat of the engine bay. Here's the intake and the Hyundai all welded up. I added the, the port to the valve cover. Got a, the three inch band clamp tube to the filter. The factory fresh air duct is in and hooked up. It's bolted down. We're gonna get some seal for the top of this and possibly, and put some rubber around here. But before any of that, it's gonna take it all apart, set it out to get powder coated.
so the new intake is done it has a full three inch now got into a three inch filter not that there's a lot of performance in it but this is a two and three quarter up to three right here so we've got a little bit more airflow now the box seals off the engine heat and it does utilize the little scoop that he mentioned somebody put an intake on for him and they took that scoop off well that does route down into this grill so there is some false fed air there and we left the bottom of the box open and open to this area so it has more access to cooler air and then of course put a seal on the box it just touches the hood it doesn't seal really tight but it just touches it keeps a lot of the heat away and of course a rubber seal around the intake pipe so that should keep the air temps quite a bit cooler